Hello everyone, welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. Today we're going to be talking about how and why a Venus flytrap turns red. I do see this question often. People want to know how to get the head of their Venus flytrap to turn that dark shade of red. The answer is coming right up. I'm starting a new series where I answer questions about carnivorous plants in 3-5 to five minutes. I'm trying to help answer quick questions that are usually part of larger videos and smaller bite-sized videos. If you have a question about this topic, sound off in the comments below. Before we get into how to turn a Venus flytrap red, let's take a look at some different types of Venus flytraps and how the word red could mean a few different things. Here I have four Venus flytraps with various shades of red. All of these Venus flytraps have been in the same growing conditions except this one over here. These four Venus flytraps are all different cultivars, but as you can see they're all very different colors of red, with one of them having no red at all. This is important to understand as some cultivars like this low green here doesn't really turn red. We also have some cultivars like this Amptoboros here. This is considered a red Venus flytrap. However, this is a red cultivar. It grows that way. I haven't done anything to help this one turn red. It's just that its genetics help make it a darker red or a darker maroon color. These other cultivars are mostly green, but as you can see, the trap is starting to turn a shade of red. You are most likely here because you want your Venus flytrap to do this. It's mostly green and you want the head of your Venus flytrap to turn that red color. Now that you understand the different types of cultivars can have varying degrees of red, let's talk about how we can help your Venus flytrap turn red. The answer is actually pretty simple. Light, light, and then more light. Whether you grow your Venus flytraps inside under a grow light or outside under the sun, the way that you turn a Venus flytrap more of a red color is by giving them more light. You can compare a Venus flytrap turning red to how a human will start to turn red if exposed to too much sun. The more exposure to the sun or light, the more the skin will start to turn red and burn. In a way, red on a Venus flytrap is a sunburn. However, seeing the inside of a trap start to turn red is typically a sign that that Venus flytrap is getting a healthy amount of light. If your flytrap isn't turning red on the inside, there's two possibilities. One, it may have some genetic traits like my low green hair. At some point, your plant may have been crossed with a variety of Venus flytrap that doesn't turn red. There's definitely some out there. Or, the other possibility is that you're just not giving it enough light. Often, Venus flytraps grown in windowsills will be almost entirely green. Most of the time the windowsill does not provide enough light, so they always stay that green color and sometimes even turn kind of a pale whitish color. If you were to supplement with a grow light or move it outside under full sun, it's likely that the trap would start to turn red. Let me show you a couple of examples here. My Mr. Knightley is just coming out of dormancy and has been exposed to more intense grow light for just the last month or so. It's just starting to turn red on the inside. The other one I have here is a typical. I've actually kept it inside all winter and I'm experimenting with it by skipping dormancy. You can see how red the traps are from being exposed to grow lights all winter long. Most Venus flytrap cultivars will start to look like this one here toward the end of the growing season if they're exposed to enough light. Here's a great example of a Venus flytrap turning red. I took a time lapse video and kept this Venus flytrap pretty close to an indoor grow light. This was over a span of about 4 weeks before it finally caught a wasp. You can see how quickly it turned red while being exposed to quite a bit of light. This was a Sansi 36 watt grow bulb set about 10 inches away for about 16 hours a day. I had more light on it than I normally would to help with the time-lapse video. There's a link in the description for a Sansi 36 watt bulb if that's something you're interested in. They're actually pretty amazing. It's important to point out one more time that the red varieties like my Amptoboros here or a red dragon can't be turned that way even if exposed to a lot of light. It's just a completely different cultivar. If you're interested in getting your hands on a red cultivar, check out California Carnivores and make sure to use Bug Eater for 10% off. Link is in the description and pinned comment. If you're interested in learning more about Venus flytrap care, click the video popping up on the screen right now. I go over everything you need in under 10 minutes. And if you found this video helpful or entertaining, make sure to pour some water on my like button and subscribe to help my channel grow. And thank you so much for being here. I really hope to catch you in my next video. Bye.